Hello there, peoples of the internet. Once again, to another devlog of A Peasant's Tale. Um, so this week, we got a bunch of new subscribers and we actually hit over 150, and that is awesome, guys. That is flippin' awesome. Welcome to all of the new people. I know we got a lot in the past couple days. Uh, and yeah, I did a lot this week. Um, so I made a, uh, the biggest change was I made a custom font system. When it lights up, you'll see. So uh, this is just a little test right here. It says hello, uh, but I can get it to pretty much say whatever I want. And I can also customize any color that I want it to be in. Um, now you'll notice that the fonts, uh, the custom fonts that I, or sorry, not custom fonts, the GUI fonts that I were, was using for stuff like the gold and the coordinates and all that, they look kind of bad now, but, and that's because, um, I can't import the font, uh, library, like the font as part of the library from the GUI as well as my custom fonts. It's like one or the other. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the result, but I'll be changing those to the custom font anyway. So it's not too big a deal. I just didn't do it yet. Um, what else did I do? I also, um, a viewer subscribe, uh, a subscriber, um, uh, asked about, uh, having a little highlight show uh, what spell you have selected. So I did that right here. So you see that little thing right there. Uh, it also works for numbers. So like if I hit two, bam, or if I move this to say the uh, four right there and I hit four, bam. So anyway, that's, um, that's pretty cool. What else, what else? Um, I did, uh, yeah, the highlight thing. Oh, right, right, right. I also made a cool little rumbling effect. So sort of like a screen shaking effect. Now I can use this for a ton of stuff, like um, uh, what I use it for right now is getting hit. Uh, like when an enemy hits you, it, it's a very subtle thing, so it's kind of hard to notice. It'll probably be kind of hard to notice in the video, but it's definitely there and it works and it looks pretty nice when you're in game. Um, it can also be used for say like earthquakes or like buildings collapsing, explosions, all kinds of crazy stuff. So if I let this guy hit me a little bit, you'll notice if he wants to hit me, uh, running away. I'll get a couple of them actually, so it's more apparent. Yeah, so you see that sort of rumbling effect. Uh, the screen sort of shakes a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, um, but yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, aside from that, a pretty big thing um, is that um, I got a full-time sort of artist uh, on the team. So now the Peasant's Tale team has grown to a magnificent, extremely large size of two. Uh, so this guy is called the Ender Coder, and actually I'll show you him right here. Um, this is him. Oh, why did I click on? All right. Anyway, um, this is him right here. Uh, please go ahead and check him out, the Ender Coder. He's really awesome, and he already did some pretty cool art for me, like this uh, bandit over here, sort of like a Risk of Rain style, and I think it's awesome. It's fantastic. Uh, and this is definitely what I'm going to be using for, uh, for my game. There's going to be probably a big sort of art overhaul in the future, uh, where I sort of get this art implemented. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think it looks great. Uh, he's really talented and, uh, yeah, couldn't, couldn't say anything against him. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, I also made it, and this is going to look bad with all the temporary stuff going on here. Uh, I also made it so that when you die, the screen sort of rumbles. Uh, so if I just let them kind of beat me up a little bit, you see that sort of rumbling effect uh, right there. And then the screen sort of permanently rumbles when you're dead. You'll also notice right here that all the uh, HUD goes away and I, that's uh, on purpose, but I've had some bugs with the highlight thing where it's like rendered underneath the, uh, the bar and this is what it's supposed to look like. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, actually, I can also show off like the whole different colors aspect of the font. So I can basically customize the font to be anything I want it to be if I can find the thing. Where is it? Ah, right here. Okay, so I can be, I can say like, let's just do 0F, 0F. Um, I have no idea what that'll be. Actually, that should probably be just gray-ish. <laughs> um, so if my game wants to actually go, that would be great. <laughs> So it's sort of, actually it looks the same. Let's see, hold on. Let's do A, A, B, I don't know, throw some random stuff in there. Let's put a three in there because I feel like it, something crazy like that. Um, this is basically just uh, working off of the hexadecimal system um, for all you coders out there. Uh, so yeah, see, I can just change it to whatever color I want. I don't even know what that is. That, like, it's like a turquoise color. 
<laughs> so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, and yeah, tell me what you guys think. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Please uh, leave a like on this uh, on this um, video and go leave a like on the Facebook page. And that's where you can get the download each week of the update of the game. And yeah, goodbye.